<coughs> hey sweeties, um, just a quick video I guess, or a quick live. One, hello, I am alive. Just. Um, yeah, I'm about to do some dyeing, so I figured I'd just come on and show you all what I'm doing. Oh, I'm so glad that I waited until that had gone down. <laughs> So anyway, um, at least with this one I can switch you around, so that helps. So I'm just going to give you a quick switch so you can see what's going on in the pot. It's just coming to the boil. So yeah, it's just coming up to the boil. So we will get on with it. I will show you what I'm dying. I've got some, here we go, switch around again got some roving it's soaking in some water and some vinegar water we have some Nick Peaks bulky we have yet yeah, bulky we have wool of the Andes I think this is the worsted worsted way uh, I really don't want to mess these up, so give me a second. Sorry, guys. Put that one there. And that one there with that. I don't want to lose the tags because I know what I'm like. <laughs> so this one over here. And then I've got some sport. And I've lost one. I mustn't have brought it out. Okay, well, that's okay. So... Yeah, so that's, hi I'm Brad, <laughs> um, yeah so we've got the, we've got the dye pot going on and it's just come to the boil so, uh, oh, where's my thing, turn it down to there. The colour that I'm using here is granite. It is a grey colour. And here we go. So these are all dry, so they will take the colour differently, and that's what I needed. So, but they do soak in pretty quickly. So Should be able to get the three of these into here at the moment. There's my tongs. Actually, I think I'll just go with these two. Uh, stop boiling. Stop the boil. <laughs> because in the end, I may need to actually put more colour in. Yeah, got a funny feeling I'm going to need more colour, so that's okay. Don't have much left of this granite colour, so I've got to be careful. Okay, I'll just switch this back to me for a second. Hey there. Oh, let's hope you don't know. I better be careful by putting you there. I'll put you there for a moment. So. <laughs> I've got to go and buy some more of this granite because it's the colour I use for my base. So, that is first on my list. <laughs> okay, just get this in and I'll turn it back around for you. Okay. Now that should be better. Let's have a look. Switch it back. There we go. So yeah. So now I will just leave it. I will put the lid back on. 
turn it down to one because that oh, that just turned it off so it was on one okay so I'll leave it on one hey there I'll leave it on one so that way <coughs> uh, it'll give it that simmer for a little bit and then I will turn it off and I will let that completely cool down which won't take too long just about two or three hours before it's completely cooled and then once that's completely cooled I will take give me a second uh, I'm walking around like a bloody idiot here I don't want to stain my cup that's all I want to get rid of it as fast as possible so yeah okay so yeah um, then when it's all cooled down I will get the worsted, uh, the bulky weight, the just the plain DK wool of the Andes, and the roving into a, a grey pot. But I'm a bit concerned because I don't have much left. So he's hoping. Um, yeah, I just thought, well, you know, I was feeling good. Um, my face has gone down a lot, as you can see, it's still, hold on, you can't see through that thing, so how do I turn that off? Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, still a bit swollen in here, but that there is what caused me all my grief. So, yeah. Uh, the cold went away, but now I've got to go and get a flu shot. <laughs> I've heard a few people have gone sick after their flu shot, so I'm a bit concerned about getting one. But anyway, so I would love to see. W w little. Yeah, I've still got brain fog. I'd love to see what you guys have all been up to. Um, I know I was talking about opening a group for Carries Down the Rabbit Hole. That will be done in the next couple of days because I am feeling good. <laughs> Just thought I'd give that extra. So, um, yeah, so there'll be a lot of dying and there'll even be some spinning this week. Oh, why I'm here. Let's show you some of the things that I have done. Okay. I did a pink base the other night. Thought I'd try a bit of different colours. You know me, I'm bit colorful these days so I tried the pink base let's turn off the face thing again did the pink base and then I dipped it into the teal and what good it's really not really doing it justice because I don't have an excellent light here let me see if I can get one um yeah it goes into like a purple and it's very nice so that's one of them and then I did you know that I was I was starting to work a bit with a bit of natural dyes I'm really interested in the natural dyes so I've been saving up all my you know I, I drink a lot of coffee as we know pretty sure we know because I'm bouncing off the walls right now I've been saving up my coffee granules now oh, if I had have left it a little bit long, if I had have left it simmering for about another four hours, I probably would have gotten exactly um, the whiskey colour from Nick Ray. But here we go. And that's actually, there is actually true to colour, that one. That is coffee dyed. And it's beautiful. It really, no, it seriously is, as I said, if I had have let it simmer for an extra couple of hours or whatever, that would have been whiskey like that. So that's that one. I then have, oh, I've got to bend down. I thought, you know, because I was doing the teal and I knew there was going to be too much teal left over in the pot, I thought I'd just throw a bit of a grey base, DK weight, grey wool base in and do a teal mix. So it's a grey and teal. I have, this is the, the pink one that I was doing. Let me tell you something right now, and that's showing really, you know, these are still damp, so I can't 
Can't undo them yet, so. And then this is the grey and pink base. O M G. Well, we all know that I wasn't overly keen on the dead cat on the hot tin roof, but I did actually crochet it up in a pair of socks that I'm making, and it looks great. Oh my god, it looks great. So this one may actually become my second go-to. So I'm guessing you guys are wondering, why is Kerry dyeing up all these bases? Well, once this is all dyed, this is all going on sale. I have finally decided to open up my, I'll be running it off through my email and my Facebook account. Um, the Kerry's Down the Rabbit Hole um, on Facebook and also from here. So if you want to buy one, let me know. Please, as you've seen, I've only got two of each of these bases and I will be spinning up the rovings and hand dyeing them, spinning them and selling them. So get in touch with me. Uh, I'm looking at roughly about $25 a skein, um, and that's without postage, by the way. And if you get taxes in your country, I ain't paying them. But anyway, apart from that, Kerry is now open for business. So once I get these done up and I get these sold, I'll be able to buy more, and I'll be able to sell more. Um... This is something I was working on while I was sick. Uh, see, so no matter what anyone says or thinks, I was busy while I was sick. I was working out how to get this all up and going. So I got it all ready. And I knew that the moment I was no longer ill, we were going to get Carries Down the Rabbit Hole exclusives Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. So... Each skein will be different, as you all know, by hand dyeing, everything is different. Um, you'll never get the exact same ever. So, um, yeah, get in touch with me if you are after a Carries Down the Rabbit Hole hand dyed yarn. I'm now open for business. So, on that note, guys, I I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm still speechless that I've now got a business of doing my hand dyed and selling it on to you guys who will actually appreciate it. Much love to you all. I will speak to you soon. And um, yeah, think of some more colorways I'd, I'd probably like to do. Just remember though, I'm thinking that mine will always be on a gray base. Cheers guys. Talk to you soon.